श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम अथ उत्तरेण तपसा ब्रह्मचर्येण श्रद्धया विद्या आत्मा अन्वेष्यम आदित्यम अभिजयते एतद्वै प्राणानाम एतद् आयतनम अमृत अभयम एतद् पारायण एक पुनरावर्तंते इत्येष निरोधः यस्टरडे वी हैव सीन दिस पर्टिकुलर मंत्र डोंट से वी हैव सीन यू हैव सीन वी डोंट रिमेम्बर एनीथिंग देर आर टू पाथ्स वन इज रई प्रधान एंड द सेकंड इज प्राण प्रधान वी हैव सीन देर हाउ द वन इज बायफर्केटेड इंटू टू मैटर इज ऑब्जेक्टिव एक्जिस्टन्स एंड प्राण इज द सब्जेक्टिव एक्जिस्टन्स मेक इट क्लियर टू युअर अंडरस्टैंडिंग Now those who are matter oriented, they will be constantly seeking something or the other, and therefore they will be doing lot of karma, do this, do that, so that I can get that. Now what is the maximum that human being can think? I want to do such thing. So not only here I am getting everything, but even after I die, I should go to the heaven. so our whole life is only desire prompted and desire fulfillment is the only criteria of our existence see this is one type of people wherein we all belong why i should say we all belong where i belong you are all re- realize see now the second one is atha uttarena now the other people are they are going by the uttarayana marga the path of light in the 18th uh, 8th chapter of bhagavad gita bhagwan brings out this thing dhuma marga and uh, jyotir marga so those who are following this second approach to life uttarena then what is their approach in life tapasa brahmacharyena shraddhaya vidyaya atmanam anvishya now their approach is not what do i get their approach is not what people talk about me their approach is who am i see friends if every experience of our life brings us back to the inquiry as to who is disturbed who is miserable who want something see? when this begins in life understand we are blessed by the divine will ishvara anugraha teva pumsam advaita vasana how do we know that god's grace is showering on us how do we know that depends on what we are a boy not able to get married this day the things have changed earlier girls were having a problem to get married now the boys have so this frustrated boy went to a palmist and sir 
I don't know why I am unable to get married. Now I am already 28, 30. Now when will I get married? Please see my palm. Is there any chance? Panditji says, first of all, put money here. There is nothing free. This I told you earlier. And then the Panditji, when he gets sufficient money, he said, now I can tell you, you can never get married. Why? Because there is Akhanda Ananda Yoga. Akhanda Ananda is possible only if one condition. Don't get involved in the relative world. Arjuna's problem was not war. His problem was not fighting. His problem was not the grandfather, the guru. His problem was my guru and my grandfather. We all suffer 100% only because of our relations. See? And are those relations the reality? Can we show the husband apart from the man? Can we show the wife apart from the woman? So these non-existing entities, they are making our life miserable. See? Nobody can help such fools. They are um, designed to suffer in this world. Okay. And uh, most powerful weapon that the ladies take out is Ganga, Yamuna, Saraswati. For everything you touch, touch me not. I have done so much for my son. Oh, now he's going away. Friends, don't get lost in this world. You know our approach of studying Upanishad. I am not talking according to Shankar Bhashya and giving you the complicated depth. Whatever we study should be applied in our life. Otherwise, you will start giving lecture to others. There are some people. They keep on talking. The same thing what I have said, they tell me. They send me also the my own talks on WhatsApp. Swamiji, this talk of yours is very good. Hare Ram Ram Ram. See? I have seen those who have nobody to uh, talk to, to send WhatsApp or Facebook or Instagram. They send it to me freely available. But now I have also become expert. I don't read anything. And when I see you now the uh, space is unnecessarily occupied, so I delete it. Select all, delete all. Finish it all. See, friends, therefore, enough is enough. Then such people, tapasa, now they are focusing attention on themselves. What we do? We complain. My mind is very disturbed. What should I do? Chole bhature ka? Very disturbed. There is no end to that complaining, living at zero complaint level. And uske bara mein complain. How to get out of the complaints? So, tapasa is living without any complaint about the mind, about the world. Tapasya. And that can come when you have got self-confidence. A person with self-confidence does not have complaints. He who doesn't have self-confidence, he will have only complaints in life. So, tapasa, then brahmacharyena. Spiritual life is not a part-time profession. This hundred times I have told. It is a full-time preoccupation. Our understanding is, uh, I go to this temple, they introduce the Ashad Ekadashi, Swamiji, do you observe fast? I said, I eat fast on this day. Dava ke khao. See, friends, the whole life goes only in that. We don't take care of our mind. The day we have decided and started taking care of our mind, understand, you are reborn. And the reborn is a seeker. 
इसी कार्निवर डाइज सी दे हजबेंड वाइफ ब्रदर फादर मदर सिस्टर दे विल डाई सी कार्निवर डाइज लाइक इन सिक्स चैप्टर भगवान से जिन भगवत गीता शुचि नाम श्रीमताम गेहे योग भ्रष्टो भी जाए थे योग भ्रष्ट ही हु स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन हिज माइंड बट ही कुड नॉट कंप्लीट वर्किंग ऑन हिज माइंड देयर फोर ही हैज नॉट लॉस्ट एनीथिंग इन द नेक्स्ट लाइफ अगेन ही विल स्टार्ट वेयर फ्रॉम ही हैज लेफ्ट देयर फॉर फ्रेंड्स इफ यू रियली मीन बिजनेस ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल पाथ स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन माइंड and what is working on the mind brahmacharyena charya is discussion discussions art thinking See? so brahmacharyena in and through every experience of our life discover the divine grace in and through every experience of our life discover the divine grace that is brahmacharya other things are equally important celibacy not getting involved in other people's life is all required but the real brahmacharya is brahmani charati see one has to be committed to this then shraddhaya so when we do not know we go and ask somebody now that somebody to whom we ask if we don't have faith in him we will not follow so shraddha like bhagwan shankara acharya writes in vivek chudamani shastrasya guru vakyasya satya buddhya vadharana sa shraddha kathita sadvi yaya vastu upalabhyate what is told by the scriptures and what is told by the teacher how that is right and how that should be adopted in one's life that positive approach to the life is called as shraddha See? majority of the people those who are complete masters they come to us to get a okay from us they don't want uh, sincere suggestion they want somebody to say okay you only told so there is somebody to blame see therefore if you see no wise man makes decision for others other wise man makes decision for even for god god you should not have done like this therefore shraddhaya then vidyaya so we have seen apara vidya and para vidya so here vidya para vidya tat aksharam adhigamyate now our inquiry begins and be attentive inquiry is analyzing and learning from every passing experience if we have learned anything we will not repeat the same mistake see in childhood we have learned that we touch the fire and our hand got burned therefore we do not repeat that mistake again in our life but when it comes to take the same topic relations so when we know relation wise we are always disturbed so what should be learned no remain only when you are in front of your elders remain as a child and what is the child operation don't argue don't talk don't discuss say yes 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 and do whatever you like see so their head is cool your head is cool otherwise you get lost in arguments logic it has no end to it see friends therefore vidya atmanam <clears throat> then anvish now we have to inquire about who am i see colors and forms are not interested 
whether somebody is looking at me or not. The vision is only illuminating. Vision is not seeing. In the vision, seer is not born. Like the glasses. The eyes are seeing through the glasses. Glasses don't have that knowledge that I am seeing somebody know. And therefore, whether the glasses are seeing something good or something bad, there is no merit, there is no sin. Because there is no seer born. Exactly the same way. When the eyes are looking at the things and beings, there is no seer born in the eyes. So what should be understanding? Understanding is, learning is, let there be an experience, but let an experiencer be not born. Eta Dvaitat Katopanishad, this is that. You are not sleeping. Every experience is normal. You are hearing the sounds, feeling the cold. You are aware that you are sitting somewhere. It is not hypnotism. And in this, there are no efforts. Effortless experience is the truth. Patanjali, Prayatna Shaitilya, effortlessness. Ananta Samapati Bhyam, when possible, when we merge in the infinite. In this small room, if there is some agarbati, there will be fragrance everywhere. In the total space, you may burn the jungle of sandalwood. No smell anywhere. See? Therefore, vidyaya atmana manvishya dem uh, adityam abhijayante. Then they come to aditya, the sun. The one in whose light everything is happening. See? So Aditya, the illuminator, and Rai, the Chandrama, is the illumined. Moon doesn't have its own light. It's only the reflected light. And what we experience is not the object. But the light reflected on that object. Be very attentive. The sun is throwing the light. Now if that light is not coming across any object where it can reflect, the sunlight is dark. What we see is only the reflected light. What we call sunlight is actually a daylight. It is not a sunlight. See friends, between you and me there is light, is it not? Can we see that? What we are seeing? The light which is reflected on any object. That object alone is seen? No. That object is not seen. The reflected light is seen. And that reflected light is not influenced by on whatever it is reflected. Think. Therefore the rule is what? The illuminator is not influenced by what is illumined. Now apply this to your experience. I see different colors, but eyes do not gather any color. Eyes see different forms, but eye vision has no form. 
we support waking dream deep sleep and samadhi but we are neither the waker nor the dreamer nor the deep sleeper nor the samadhista the man supports the son the husband the father but the son husband and father cannot influence the man sadhana vittala 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 and keep on fighting with each other therefore etadvai prananam ayatanam ayatanam is the house this ultimate is the abode of all the experiencers e friends if you remember in uh, yoga vashishta we have seen this in our dream there are so many people so many plants animals all the five great elements everything is happening see so when our dream is over do we inquire what happened to that fellow what happened to that money what happened to that river where i was how come i am not there we don't even think about it when the sleep, dream is over everything is over exactly the same way you and me are in the dream of brahma ji when brahma ji is sleep is over mahapralaya when it is over he will not think acha he has done papa said to him to hell no no hell no even he my friends the deeper you go in understanding your own experiences do you come to know experiences without the birth of experiencer is paramatma so um etat vai prana naam ayatanam so this is the abode of all the beings see like our mind is the abode of all the things that we have seen in the dream the five great elements the friends the enemies the animals the plants everything is only the mind so etar vai prana naam ayatanam and etasmat न पुनरावर्तनते एंड वेन वी कम बैक टू अवर डिवाइन नेचर न पुनरावर्तनते अगेन पुनरपि जननम पुनरपि मरणम पुनरपि जननी जठरे शयनम ऑल दैट ड्रामा ओवर देन व्हाट इज लाइफ लाइफ इज द टाइम पास ना कुछ पाना ना कुछ खोना as cheerfully happily effortlessly a child lives that cheerful happy effortless is the life if this ego factor is removed and this ego has no existence see therefore punna punaravartante ittev nirodaha tadepa shlokaha therefore in the some quotation from the uh, rugveda is given what is that abode so we started with the sun as the prana and the moon as the ray or the matter so here taking the same words uh, panchapadam pitaram dwadashik dwadashakrutim dive ahu pare ardhe purishinam atha ime yau anyo pare vichakshanam sapta chakre shadar ahur arpitamiti now the sun is glorified so what is the sun now we have to understand in uh, the modern language which we can comprehend sun is responsible for establishing the factor of time see sun then earth 
and moon. When we say Ekadashi Tithi, it is based on the moon cycle around the earth. And when we talk about month, then it is the movement of the earth around the sun. In other words, wherever there is a movement, time is born. Wherever there is a time, samsara is born. See? Sun doesn't move. But around the sun, everything is moving. So what is said here, that he has got five legs and different twelve forms, Dvadasha, Dvadasha Aditya, and then there are, he is the creator of the waters and he is far above and all the things are sub, uh, surrendering to the sun. Meaning what? Everything is happening only in the presence of the divine that we are. See? If the distance between the sun and the earth is changed maybe by let us say few millimeter, there will be chaos. In the same manner, all the things are happening only in the presence of the sun who is the creator of the principle of time. And therefore, who is the Prajapati, who is the creator? Time is the creator of this world. See how it has come? From Paramatma, sun and the moon experiencer or the illuminator and the illumined. Then the sun is the, uh, the objective life, you become a samsari, become subjective, you are the seeker. Now after you have come to the seeker, now you are told, they have understood. So you have to focus attention on yourself. Now what are you? You are supporting the time or the time is killing you. Childhood has come and gone. Nothing happened to us. Teenage has come and gone. Nothing happened to us. So many satsang we have heard. Nothing happened to us. Nobody can change us. We are unchanging reality. Hold on to that truth, friends. See? Therefore, now the principle of time is taken as the creator. Maso vai prajapati hi tasya krishna paksha evarai hi shuklam pranaha tas etasman ruthaya shukle ishtam kurvanti itar itar esmin. So there are two aspects. Again the pair. This also I told you. The whole world is made up of complementary opposites. There is nothing in this world which is singular. So krishna paksha and shukla paksha. So Krishna Paksha is matter oriented and Shukla Paksha is the consciousness oriented. Therefore, Maso Vai Prajapati. The month is the Prajapati and this is further divided into two. Krishna Paksha is the Rai, the matter and Shukla Paksha is the Pranaha, the uh, subjective aspect. And therefore, those who are Rushayaha, Rushaya is what? Mantra Drashtaraha Rushayaha. Those who are seeing something beyond the obvious, they are the rishis. See, the world is the same. But what we learn from that, like the example I gave you, Bhagwan Dattatreya, he had 12, 24 gurus. We all have experienced the space, what we have learned. I think I should add one more room to keep the furniture to one BHK, let me make two BHK. Our Daridri Vichar cannot go beyond it. See? But what Bhagavan Dattatriya saw? Space supports everything. Rejects nothing. Contradicts nothing. But doesn't get influenced by anything. See? Because it is said here, uh, Rushayaha Shukle, Shukla Paksha, he is the, uh, the 
ब्राइट फोर्ट नाइट कृष्ण पक्ष इज द डार्क फोर्ट नाइट सो वॉट आर वी सीकिंग आर वी सीकिंग आई शुड गेट दिस इज फॉर गेट कंटिन्यू नो बडी कैन हेल्प यू आई टेल यू हाउ आई आई लर्न फ्रॉम यू ऑल यू आर ऑल माई गुरुज मेन इयर्स बिफोर there was a couple and uh, a christian couple i was staying nearby and very good uh, friends when um, evening she started shouting sadhu baba sadhu baba please come please come he is him killing me he is killing me next door so i rush and he was drunk and he was trying to do something to her so i separated them. and i thought i am a great savior next day evening i just thought let me see how is the condition they were sitting on a sofa hugging each other when i went say excuse me we are busy come some time else okay go away that day i learned never get involved in the jhagda of husband and wife they are born to fight tabla bajao dur se don't get involved in anybody's life but we get involved you know no no no, no constantly see and then we suffer not we suffer we make others also suffer and the worst are the parents and the grandparents they themselves have destroyed their life so they are not happy if their children are happy do they do they let them destroy themselves you don't help them see therefore maso vai prajapati hi to shukle in the shukla paksha they do all meaning they are walking the path of light in this world nothing new has ever happened people are born and they get married they have children or no children so what you learn we suffer because of two things problems of having something and problems of not having something those who don't have children they suffer those who have children they suffer what bhagwan will do those who have money they suffer those who don't have money they suffer this world is like this don't get involved therefore those who are following the spiritual path maso vai prajapati tasya krishna paksha eva rai shukla prana tasmat me eta drusheha shuklam ishtam kurvanti na itare itarasmin and therefore those who are following the spiritual path they focus their attention on they are being without becoming don't become a spiritual seeker be hey. the more you are at peace with yourself you are learn the secret of spiritual life you don't have to prove anything to anybody in this world this is our problem one lady asked me this question swami ji i want to be like you you are relaxed you don't get tired i want to be like you i said you cannot be like me why no beard longer the beard more is the happiness shorter the beard doubtful is the happiness no beard no happiness so for being happy grow <laughs> but why god has not given beard to the ladies because they are miserable he failed see friend don't try to prove anything to anybody in this world our struggle is that we struggle the husband tries to prove to the wife that i love, love her she no the malum hai see don't get lost in all this rubbish 
be at peace with yourself. This is what is pranaha tasmad eta drushaya shukle shuklam kurvanti itare itrasvin. Those who are the materialist, their whole life is lost only in this thing. See, I didn't know that. <coughs> the other day I got this um, knowledge. <coughs> there was one one of my friend. His daughter was to be married. So Swamiji, do you know somebody? I said, I know so, so many people. Know somebody for my daughter. I said, okay, I know some people, I'll talk. No, but you have to see that uh, they should be in our slab. <laughs> slab means what? I say, I know slab. <laughs> slab, I don't know. No, they must be at least having um, 25 crores party. See? So, it is not a boy and a girl getting married. It is this bank account against this bank account. They get married. They spend lot of money. And then the marriages are not conducted in India. See? Turkey. See? What exactly they want to prove to whom? Therefore, never get involved with anybody. Follow your spiritual path. So this is how the month is the Prajapati. And in that, Aho Ratra Vai Prajapati. Now we come down from the year to month. Aho Ratra Vai Prajapati. Tasya Iha Eva, Ahar Eva Pranaha. So day is the prana and Rai Eva Ratri. And night is the matter. Pranam Vai Ete Praskandanti Ye Diva Ratya Sayujjate. Now here is a very important point. So, the day and night, they are two aspects of our life. Those who are too much indulgent in their life, for them, day, night, they only think about only getting involved with the carnal pleasures. Here the Upanishad says, Pranam vai ete praskandanti ye divas ratya sayujjante. Those who get involved in the carnal relationship during the daytime, they are destroying their whole life. They are not spiritual seekers. See, the meaning of brahmachari according to scriptures is, a brahmachari is not supposed to have any physical relationship with any girl that is brahmacharya for the brahmachari. Grahastha, married person, Brahmachari is having physical relation only with the legal wife and that too only a particular time, not 24-7. Then Vanaprastha, having zero physical contacts, staying separately, not in the same bed and leading their life is Brahmacharya for the Vanaprastha and for Sanyasi, the brahmachari is not at all involved in all these things. Therefore, here it is said that if you are a grasta, you must have, that is important, but that too also must be done in a proper rules and regulations according to scriptures. So, pranam vai ete praskadanti ye diva ratya sayujjante brahmacharya meva tad yadi ratrau ratya sayujjante and if they are leading their life in a dignified human uh, being, then they are following the Brahmacharya. Now, in this manner, what happened thereafter? Now, we have come from the principle of time, from the year to the months to the weeks. Now, we come to the uh, next stage. Annam vai prajapati. The food is Prajapati, the creator. So, Tato Havai Tad Reta Asmad Ima Praja Prajayanti Iti. Then the food is the Prajapati. The food is eaten by the people and it is converted into the seeds and the seeds unite together and from there this world is created. In this manner, 
This is the first question which was asked. How this world is created? This is how the world is created. So where from we started? We started one reality divided into subject object duality. Thereafter, those who are giving importance to the objectivity, they become samsari. Those who become subjective, they are the spiritual seekers. And if a spiritual seeker is, he is not leading a life of mechanical existence, but he is leading a life of understanding and wisdom. And thus, he is reducing the speed of his life. Okay? Because time, the moment, is the creation. When you come to a halt, creation over. Therefore, this point we told you, if you take space as object of your experience, your mind comes to a halt. When the mind comes to a halt, that itself is Chaitanya. Like names and the forms of the ornaments, when they are dissolved, it is gold. Gold itself was called as ornaments because importance was given to name, form, and utility. But when name, form and utility is dissolved by melting, nothing happened to gold. In the same manner, Chaitanya with the name and form, body identification is mind. Mind agitated is samsari. So quieten the mind. Movement stops. This movementless experience without the birth of an experiencer is the truth. Now analyze your experience. Childhood has come and gone. What happened to us? Teenage has come and gone. We didn't change. Middle age has come and gone. Dehi no spinjatha dehi kaumaram yauvanam jara tatha dehantara praptihi dheeras tatra namuyati. Nothing happened. See? Waking has come and gone. What happened to me? Dream has come and gone. Nothing. Deep sleep has come and gone. Who cares? Samadhi lagi lagi nahi lagi. Kya farak padata hai? Therefore, do not allow any sequence of events to influence us. Whenever a sequence is established, an illusion of time is created. Childhood, one event, gone. Teenage, another event, gone. Then middle age, another event, gone. So sequence is established. And then, when I was a child, when I was a teenager, see, and whole samsara is born. Therefore, tad ye havai, tad prajapati vratam charanti. So those who are thus leading their spiritual life, what is spiritual life? Prajapati vratam. This is what I told you. Where are we? 
whether I am a brahmachari or a grahastha or a vanaprastha or a sannyasi. Find out where you are. Are we extrovert or we are introvert? See, because people were praising Gangaji because of you, so many people are benefited and Gangaji got confused and therefore decided not to flow so that people remain benefited. The moment Ganges stops flowing, water starts rotting. Moving water alone is healthy water. See friends, in the same manner, move toward the goal. Because of our spiritual practice, if others are benefited, it is a cow dung. It is a Gomutra. Hold on to the milk. See, friends. No, but I am a Khadi follower. Take a pill. Go work a Uple Vanaki cow. Focus a nation only on spiritual evolution. Everything else must wait. See? So. Tadye vai tad prajapati vratam charanti te mithunam utpadayante. Then, when we take this as a spiritual life, then you get married, you have children. And thereafter, tesham esha brahma lokaha. Yesham tapo brahma charyam teshu satyam pratishtitam. So, if you are following the path of Gurasna, continue. But while you are in Grasta, there also you can practice Brahmacharya. So, whatever we are supposed to do, do it. But don't get involved beyond limits. See, the elderly people, grandparents, see, I have seen so many families. The families break because of the grandparents. See, that boy is in a Fix upper blade wife, lower blade mother of a scissor, and in between that Dumbo. Now, who should have understanding? Children should have understanding, or the elder should have understanding. See? And then the families break. See, friends. Don't get involved in anybody's life before somebody has to tell us, will you please keep, keep shut up? Before that, keep quiet. Therefore, Esham eva brahma lokaha, Esham tapaha brahma charya. Therefore, focus attention on your spiritual evolution. All other things are okay. Don't get involved in anything in this world. Teshu Satyam Pratishtisam. They are only committed to the truth. Pratishtha. They are really Pratishtisam. Now, Tesha Maso Virajo Brahma Lokaha Na Yeshu Vidmam Anrutamcha Maya Cha Iti. See, to such people who are not having crookedness, bad intentions, how much I can milk out from this person. No. There is no maya here means, you know, uh, the selfish attitude to deceive somebody and get the benefit. All these things are not for those who are really walking spiritual path. To make it in simple words, he whose mind is as pure as the sky. The space doesn't go anywhere. Everything is happening in the space. But the space doesn't get influenced by anything. Can we ask where is the space? This question is redundant. Where space is not. Everything is in the space. In the same manner, where is the mind? 
where the mind is not. So, as the space is untouched by the contents, equally true. The contents of the mind space are thoughts. No thought should influence us. Let them come and go. When we thus train ourselves, they are only qualified to be one with the divine. Tesha maso virajo brahma lokaha. Virajaha, where too much of rajas, activity, this one, that one, all things are gone. And nat yeshu jimham andratamcha. They are not leading a life of deception and the wrong approach to life. With this, the first question that was asked is over. Now, the second student who approached this Pipalad Muni, he asked now. And now we are starting the second prashna. Atha hainam bhargavo vaidarvi papracha bhagavan kattevam deva praja vidharayante katara etat prakashayante kapunaha esha Varishta iti. So, so, why there be Bhargava? He asked the question. O oh, Bhagavan, he Guru Maharaj, uh, Kateva Praja, Kateva Deva Praja Vidharayanti. Now, here is another important point to know. All our mantras have got three meanings. One is Adhi Bhautik meaning, second is Adhi Daivik meaning. And third is Adhyatmic meaning. So depending upon to the student who is addressed, one has to catch what is for us. See, Adi Bhautik means what? Make an uh, understanding. The ball of the sun hanging in the sky is Adi Bhautik sun. Gross, structural, objective. Adhi Daivik son is the one because of whom Kunti Mata was blessed with Karana. Adhi Daivik son. Okay. Adhyatmik son is that because of which our eyes have got the vision. And therefore, unless the Adhi Bhautik son is there illuminating the worldly objects, then the Adhyatmik son will be able to see that illumined object. So all three are together. See? This is the question. So he asked, Bhagavan, Kattevam Deva Prajavidharayante, what are those functional attributes? Because of which Deva means functional, Dyotana Deva, those which are illuminating. So how, which are those devas who are supporting Vidharayante, this whole body, the life is contained, supported by whom? See? And Katara Yeta Prakashayante, and who is illuminating all the faculties? Kapunaha Esham Varishta, and among them, which is the superior most? See? So if you take our life, our life has got these three functions. We are structurally like our uh, sense organs or organs of action you take. Eyes have got two aspects. Structural aspect, Adi Bhautik. Functional aspect, vision. Adhyatmic, the subjective aspect, the seer is the Adhyatmic. In the same manner, all our uh, faculties have got this three layer understanding. So, here the question is, um, Kattevam Devas Praja Vidharayante, which are those gods which are supporting this Praja, the creation? And who is the one who is illuminating? So, two aspects one is supporting, and second is illuminating. Okay. If somebody is sleeping, you must have seen there are some people, they sleep with their eyes open. Now, in front of their eyes, if you take four fingers, four plus four, how much? 
no reply. Because it is only the structural eye which is open. Functional eye is not open. It is like standing before the mirror and waiting what mirror will say. Hi, hello. No, nothing will happen because there is no life in that. <coughs> See? Therefore, here the question is Kattivam Deva Praja Vidharayante. Which are those gods which are supporting the life in this body? And who are, which are the ones which are illuminating? This is the and Tesham Varishtahaka. And who is the superior most among them? Now here the teacher tells us. Complete analysis of our being. Tasmai sahovacha akasho hava eshaha devaha vayuhu agni apaha prutvi vang manas chakshuhu shrutramcha te prakasha abhivadanti vayametad banam avashtabhya vidharayama Now here Tasmai so hovacha, no, to that disciple, the Guru Maharaj Pippalat Muni said, Akashaha va esho devaha, the space is the God. See, this word Akasha is a very beautiful word. Kash is the dhatu, which means both. When you add pra as a prefix before kash dhatu, it becomes prakash, light. And if you add a before the kash dhatu, it becomes akasha. Akasha, avakashat akasha. That which supports and that which illuminates both two in one. See how beautiful it is. Therefore, akasha esha devaha. Akasha is the god who is. Uh, the superior most. See? Then, uh, next one. What he does? Vayu Agni Apaha Prithvi. So he is supporting the four elements. The air, the fire, the water and the earth. See? If you can just try to comprehend this. I don't know how to tell. Space, if it starts moving, space doesn't move. If space starts moving, moving space is air. Around the earth, there is this. Uh, Covering of air up to a particular limit. Beyond that, there is no air. But a space is there. See? Etasman, Atmanaha, Akasha, Sambhutaha, Akasha, Dvayuhu. From the space, the air was born. How? Space is zero movement. And Vayu, air is movement. And from there, the world is born. Therefore, when we hold on to this space as the object of experience, you have gone beyond earth, water, fire and air. What is the meaning of going beyond? Meaning, what is space supports all of them but doesn't get influenced by any one of them. In the same manner, we will lead our life. Prithvi, gross body. Okay. Water, all the liquids in the body. Fire, the hunger, etc. And air, the kama, krodha, loba, moha, madha, matsarya. Let it come and go. Who cares? This is what we told you in simple words. Experience without the birth of 
An experiencer is the truth. Therefore, tasmai so hovaja akasha hava esho devaha and this from this akasha are the various gods created which are those the four elements vayu, agni, apaha, prithvi and then the karmendriyas vak, vak is the speech. So all the karmendriyas and chakshuhu, all the dhyanendriyas and manaha, the antakaran panchakam, shrotramcha and hearing etc. All of them are born out of this akasha tattva. Te prakashayan prakasha abhivadanti. Now they start telling. What they started? Vayam etat branam banam avashtabhya vidharayavaha. Everybody started telling, I am the one who is supporting the life in this body. See? It's a very beautiful story. Other Upanishad also it comes. Once I was taking food and my eyes started talking to me. What is this? Every time, this tongue is only tasting nice, nice food. Chutney, Masala, garam, garam. And I had to only look at it. I can't taste it. I said, okay, take it. So I took the chutney and put it in a test. I can't take it. Said, it's not for you. Be in your own place. We want to get everywhere and suffer. So all these faculties, they started having this arrogance. Because of me, the world is. Is it not our story? We think because of me, the world is moving. Bhagavan Ram had come and gone. What difference it made? Krishna has come and gone. What difference it made? You and me will go. No difference. How simple it is. It can't be difficult. When we were not in this world, there was nothing lacking. When we leave this world, nothing will be lacking. So when our earlier absence and posterior absence makes no difference, presence is making what difference? Ahankara vimudhatma karta amiti mannyate. And therefore we suffer in life. The parents think, we have done so much for our children. Who wanted whom? The parents don't need, uh, the children don't need parents. It is the parents who need the children. When you people get married, if the child is not born, then you start running from pillar to post. You want a child. Child doesn't need any father, mother. They are happy without that. But what an ahankar. And because of that, they suffer. This is our story. So all these, the speech, the mind, the sense organs, organs of action, the pancha pranas, they all start telling, I am the one who is supporting, I am the one who is supporting. See? Therefore, when we take the Upanishadic mantra in a subjective manner, adhyatmic, it has got a different meaning. Dharma Shastra is Adi Bhautik. Auranic stories, they are Adi Daivik. Upanishad is Adhyatmik. In, you can see the stories in Puranas. We, they are not um, acceptable to us. Draupadi was born out of a, uh, you know, Yajna. And she had all the time fragrance. We keep on pumping everywhere, yet we smell dirty. See? All the Pandavas, six of them, they were not born like you and me. They were only born with Mantra Shakti. So that is Adhi Daivik Kshetra. And that becomes very enchanting. But we have to get a message for the Adhyatmik. Like in Bhagavad, the story comes, the uh, <clears throat> Jada Bharat story. 
he was and he has given up everything then he went to the forest to do tapasya and there he fell in love with a deer and then he died and again born as a deer and then we accept that that there are three births and all that no that is not the story the story is that you get involved and you suffer in this world that is the story the story the meaning is earlier he was there now he is there afterwards he will be there so we are a continuous unbroken existence but instead of recognizing that message we say oh, last life this life next life no the more you become subjective in our approach then we are qualified for studying upanishad otherwise सेम वही तमाकू वही चूना रगड़ो और खाओ ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम